And hello everybody, this is Michael from Toy Rewind and welcome to Motoring Monday episode 5. So today what we're going to do is, um, I know I'm looking at some new stuff here, you know we always look at some old um, classic vintage stuff like that, but um, I've got some some trucks from the 70s and 80s here we're going to look at. I've got a few that I'm going to open up. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, Jimmy from Surplus Goodies for uh, supplying me with uh, a couple trucks that I picked up from him uh, that I needed. Um, I, I know I've said I, when I got my uh, 2022 uh, release one from Auto World, um, I didn't get the red truck. I got the ultra red, the chase version of it. So I had to go out and find another red one. Well, Jimmy had one on sale, up uh, for sale, and he had an extra one. So I always get an extra one to open up and one with my set. So I did that. I did find an extra white one to open up um, on the pegs at Walmart. Um, and then, uh, so since I got these, I knew I needed an extra uh, each of the release two for 2022 so i went ahead and picked up um those two from jimmy as well so we're going to open those here in just a minute but before we do i just wanted to go through some of these um releases that auto world's put out on this truck um from the 1973 to uh 1987 uh chevrolet pickups um so i have all of the um, you know, I got them all carded with my sets, but I also put, uh, got an extra one to open up, uh, to have a loose one. And I've got them all in this jammer over here, except for the first release. And let me move these out of the way. So the first release, they came, it was when they still came with these boxes here, which they don't, uh, come with the boxes anymore. Cause some of the vehicles that are out now are just too big for the boxes. So they didn't do that. So let's look at, um, so 2019 release two, um, came out with the 1973 Cheyenne fleet side. Uh, so this is the fleet side here. Um, we're going to open it. I just have the loose, I have carded ones as well. Um, I do have the chase version on every one of these. I just don't have them in this jammer. I don't have them loose. So we'll take a look at this yellow one. Um, one thing about, um auto world that i love about auto world um these are true 164 scale vehicles they have um uh factory colors um uh, factory um uh, packages all that kind of stuff so what you see is what you can get from the factory um they did come out with most of the wheels i know this one's got some uh the custom wheels on this first release on this one here uh, but most of the wheels are uh, like factory wheels and stuff like that. Um, so another thing that Auto World does is they have uh, the opening tailgate. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit on this for us here. And we can... Oop, went too far. All right, so let me adjust this real quick. There we go, and we're just kind of adjusting on the fly here. Uh, so, uh, they do have opening tailgates and opening hoods. So if I can get the hood open, there we go. Um, so that's something that um, Auto World has on these premium lines. So, uh, like I said, this is the uh, 73 Cheyenne uh, fleet side in dark yellow. Um, so, that was the first release and we'll try to go through these kind of quick so we can get to opening these others um i did have a pretty long video last week so i'm gonna try to keep it kind of short um this week so we got the uh, version b of this truck is the light blue color and again it's got the the trunk and the hood opens up all that kind of stuff so um it's got the the factory grill you know tailgate 
Um, all the license plates are, uh, they kind of, um, kind of match what the uh, truck is. So um, it's pretty cool. Let's see. So that's the blue one. And we'll keep these in here. And then we have the step side. So this is 73 Chevy step side, uh, the Cheyenne step side in flame red. Um, and again, it's got the opening features like the, the other one did. So that's your fleet side. And then we've got this one is lime iridescent is the, the paint color on this so which is probably one of my favorite no i like green anyway so um but i like this color here on this so that's your 1973 uh cheyenne step side so that is your first release the first two releases of the uh, Chevy trucks. So what I did here, and let's open this up. Um, so I put all these in to this jammer here. And I actually named or put a, a uh, which release and everything in there is kind of fuzzy but um but yeah so i got them all kind of sorted uh the a release and b release so we'll go over this real quick so you have so release four version a is this one here um it is crimson red and white and then you have midnight black So, and this is a 75 Silverado C10. Now, I don't know, I noticed they, they skipped 74. I don't know why they skipped 74. Um, they did skip a release there, so release two, and they skipped to release four. So, I don't know if 74 was supposed to be in release three, and they didn't put it out or what, but, uh, but there is not one. So, uh, then 2020, um, release one A is this one here it is a 76 scottsdale c10 fleet side this is the olympic edition and you can see uh, the license plate says olympic on it so the license plate like i said kind of ties in to the package there okay and then version b is this uh, Spirit of 76 edition. And I gotta keep it, I'm in a different spot, so I'm trying to keep us kinda focused up here. Uh, so that's your Spirit of 76, which is probably, that's a pretty cool paint scheme. It's a hard one to, to find in the real life truck. So um, then we have, the 77 Cheyenne from release two from 2020. So this one here, and it is brown, iridescent, and neutral. And then the B version is red, iridescent, and white. So, and that is the 77 Cheyenne C10 fleet side, okay? Now we have um, the release 3A, and we got the lifted uh, chassis on this here. This is the 78 Chevy K10 Silverado fleet side in midnight black and red. So, But this one's got the, the lifted chassis there. So, okay, so version B 
is a bright blue metallic and white. So I really like this, the, the K10 and this blue and white here. Okay. And then we have um, the release four. Uh, 79C10 Scottsdale fleet side and it is oh we're supposed to do this one first I did that backwards okay so we have the light blue here and then we have the red and black and it's got some red it's got some yellow and orange stripes on it as well so Okay, and next we have another lifted um, step side. So this one is a 1980. This is from Release 5, uh, 2020 Release 5. This one is an 80 Custom Deluxe step side, and it is Midnight Black. And it's got the grill, gu grill guard and all that kind of stuff on there. Pretty cool. Um, and then there is the bright green is the next one. So, okay. All right. So next we roll into 2021 releases. So you have the release one, which is the 81 Silverado 10 fleet side. And it is in Carmine which is kind of a dark red and white. So that's your 81. And then version B on that is Midnight Black and Silver Poly. And it does have a, a red, red stripe in there as well. Some red trim. And I like how they tool, you know, the grills are, are tooled differently for each year, too. Okay, so now we have release two, um, which is this one here. And it is a dark blue. So this is the 2021 release two, version A, 82 Silverado 10 fleet side. And it's so dark, it almost looks black on this guy. So, okay. And then version B is black. So, okay. All right. So, let's move on to uh, 2021. Release 3A, which is 83 Silverado 10 fleet side, and it is light bronze and uh, almond. Uh, what I say, light bronze, poly, and almond color. So that light bronze is pretty cool. And then you have the version. B, which is white and that carmine red color again. Although this one looks more of a red than that other one did. The other one was darker red, but oh, that's what the vector colors say. Okay, so and then now we have release four of 2021. And it is an 84 Silverado 10 fleet side, light blue and dark blue poly. Okay, and then we have uh, the red, orange, and black for version B. And we have the release five 
of 2021. It's the 85 Silverado fleet side. It's a dark blue poly and white. And again, it almost looks black. It's so dark blue. So you can kind of see the blue in the in the video there. Um, so that's your 85 version. Let's see. That's A and then B is a tan and dark brown poly and that dark brown almost looks like a black as well so. all right so let's get to that's just that's all the main releases that have been put out since um, they started putting this casting out um, in 2019. Um, let's get with uh, the 2022 version. And this is version A. Uh, this one is bright red. And it is, um, it is the 86 Chevy Silverado K10 step side. And again, like I said, I got this from Jimmy from Surplus Goodies. Um, I want to thank him again. For being a, a great supplier um, I know um, he does a great job in the community diecast community and everything so um, just want to thank him again uh, I just can't say thanks enough to for what all he does so so that's your step side so this one is going to go right there all right so let's get with uh, version B so this one is just white. Oop. So bust it loose. Put that to the side. Don't need that. So here's the white version of that. Like I said, this is the Silverado K10 step side. And like I said, the hood opens up. Well, this one hood opens up pretty good. Maybe way too much. Oh, no, it looks like it's come hard. So maybe that's why it came off too good it's kind of loose okay so we won't be messing with his hood and we're going to set him right there and so next we have like i said i picked these up from jimmy as well um you have the release two uh 2022 release two version a and it is tan and bright red as the colors. It's an 87 Chevy Silverado R10 fleet side. So this is an R10. And we're gonna open it up. Okay, and hood, there you go. And tailgate. So, okay. And, and in version B, right here, it is in a gray poly and black. That's what this is. So the 87 Chevy Silverado R10 fleet side. We're going to open that one up. And there it is. And now that they've ran through all the years, except for 84, um, hopefully we'll start seeing some other, um, some more uh, lifted, uh, the K10s. And I know they tool like a camper to go with it. So hopefully we'll start seeing a, a lot of, a lot of other things that come with this thing, uh, with this body, um, this casting. Um, it is casting number 49 from Auto World. So it's probably my second favorite uh, right there with the uh, 65, 66 uh, Suburban. That's probably my favorite. So, but now, as you can see, I'm full up on this side. So we're going to have to swap it around. And... We're going to look at this side, and as you can see, you can see where I've got all my, I've got my different 
where it says uh, what year and it says what release and what version A or B. So these guys are going to go, there's your B version goes right there and A version right there. And you can already see I've got a loose, I'm missing a couple of the Suburbans there, uh, which I will need to open up. I haven't opened those yet. And these are some CS Customs. Now, a couple little extra bonus. Here's some uh, CS Customs. These are um, kind of some samples. Um, as you can see on the bottom right here, where it's signed by Tony. And uh, the date. So, 7... Um, what is that? 7-3-2019. So, these, these will come out in 2019 late 2019 um so these are also cs customs uh the gulf and i do have all three of these are the sample pieces um this is the ultra red it's just something i kind of picked up along the way i don't know if you see that signature the initials there but yeah so it's something pretty cool um that i picked up so that's those and then these three came with that Zinger Camaro. And I didn't need the Zinger Camaro, so I just got the trucks loose. So that's those there. But um, I just wanted to show uh, those trucks and open up the new ones I got from Jimmy. And again, I want to say thank you to Jimmy uh, from Surplus Goodies. Uh, if you need any kind of die cast, you can probably get it through him. Um, Auto World. Um stuff like that so um he's got his uh his uh, ebay page all that kind of ebay uh store all that kind of stuff so um and he's always active on the boards as well um so uh but that's just going to be our uh episode five of motoring monday um, i want to thank you for watching and like we say on toy rewind play on <laughs>